foundation of a successful bioscience ecosystem is a strong academic community. We'll share examples and insights into the depth and the breadth of research programs funded by the National Institute of Health and examples that are being commercialized to make a difference in patients' lives. As a result of Delaware's small size, we're actually classified as an IDEA state by the NIH. The Institutional Development Award, or IDEA program, builds upon the research capabilities in states that have had historically low levels of NIH funding by supporting basic, clinical, translational research, faculty development, and infrastructure improvements. A consortium of educational institutions, hospitals, supporting organizations are collaborating together to make Delaware one of the strongest IDEA states in the country. Let's hear from Dr. Stephen Stanhope, the principal investigator of the very successful Delaware Embry program. The goal of the Delaware Embry program is to really establish and to grow a biomedical research capability in the state of Delaware. The Delaware Embry program has received very generous support from the National Institutes of Health as well as the state of Delaware. In total, starting in 2001, Embry's received $111 million in research support and we've generated uh, roughly 580 additional grants that have brought in an additional $280 million to the state. In total, that's generated 4,400 new jobs. What we do here in Delaware and what the state is extraordinarily well known for is its ability to partner. And what we've done is really leverage that capability to partner across all these entities to really focus partnerships in biomedical research. Now, let's hear from Dr. Stuart Bender McLeod, the principal investigator of the Excel NIH funded Delaware CTR program and learn how it's driving translational clinical research. We provide services that allow busy clinicians, engineers, and scientists to take their theories and move it into clinical practice. The NIH provides $20 million over five years. We're in a second five years, so it's a total of $40 million from the NIH. We've had a total of $10 million commitment from the state to help promote clinical and translational research, primarily in the state of Delaware. It's that clinical and translational work, the work that we support that brings information from the laboratory to the bedside. Now, we're going to hear from Dr. Julius Corley about Delaware's newest NIH-funded program. DRIVEN is designed to help move scientific discoveries and technologies out of the lab and into the commercial products that improve patient care and enhance human health. The whole purpose of this accelerator hub is to increase the likelihood that basic science will be able to become a medical device or therapeutic that can help people. My drive behind Driven is personal. I was involved with a startup company. When I began, the resources to succeed, I had to go out and find them. We could have been leaps and bounds ahead had we had the infrastructure that Driven is going to be able to offer to the constituents. This is going to be a game changer for those people who are taking that foray into medical devices and therapeutics. Let's take a look at the work that's going on at Wesley College which has gained significant national and regional traction over the last 18 months with the launch of the STEM Undergraduate Research Center for Analytics, Talent, and Success. Wesley observes a large population of students who are underrepresented in the STEM fields, and a lot of those students come from very, very underserved high schools. So in order to give those students a chance in achieving STEM success, we had to put in place several programs that would help them out. These students would never have had the chance to participate in real research and would never have the chance to be published in peer-reviewed journals. Let's have a look at how the NSF grant at Christiana Healthcare Systems Gene Editing Institute is being deployed to produce commercial gene editing kits. We've been awarded an NSF ATE grant, which is used for the training of technicians. In this case, we are training biology, biotech students in the area of CRISPR gene editing and emerging technology. This is a grant that's in collaboration with the Gene Editing Institute. 
we are being able to bring science that has been developed with their group into the classroom in order to train community college students that they will then be able to use that information as they move forward in their careers. It's been great to nucleate something but then to watch it grow with other outstanding people is probably the most rewarding project we've had in years. We are one of the first community colleges that are able to provide this experience to our students and to see the excitement of faculty from other community colleges means that we're helping to build the workforce training throughout the entire country in an area that appears set to really revolutionize biomedical research and activities. The final segment of our video takes us to Nemours Children's Hospital where we'll hear from Dr. Mary Lee, Nemours first ever Chief Scientific Officer. Then we'll visit with Dr. Karen Grip, Chief of the Division of Medical Genetics, and see how new technologies are making breakthroughs in patient diagnostics. We want Nemours to be one of the top academic children's hospitals across the country. We have built a wonderful oncology research program to be able to provide opportunities for children with childhood cancer to participate in very sophisticated trials. And we've been so successful at doing this that we are the second top enroller of children into these trials. I um, was asked to become the site PI for Excel. Knowing about Excel and these resources allowed me to reach out to pediatricians in our community who had great ideas and didn't know how to get those going. It is research and it is discovery and innovations that improve the health of children. DeepGestalt is an algorithm that uses artificial intelligence in order to analyze facial images. It helps to formulate a differential diagnosis. It's really a broad tool that can be used at different stages of the diagnostic process. The amount of time it takes to have a definitive diagnosis will be shortened significantly. The field keeps moving so fast and there's so much potential like the next generation sequencing panel that we just launched here at AI for our patients. And when you combine that with the new technology that's available, it's a great time to be in the field.